Hello and welcome to the show. Today's challenge is skiddy car racing or reduced grip racing, whatever I end up calling the title of this video. Um, what you do to make the cars kind of handle like this, if you go in the advanced options in a multiplayer race, you can give a grip handicap. Uh, if you put that up to, I think the highest it goes is 75%. If this happens, there was a very big crash uh, into the first corner here at the Jimmy, as there's another Datsun going all over the place. The, all of these cars are completely stock. They are modified. Uh, unmodified, these cars have not very much horsepower. They're less than 100 horsepower. They're only F-Class. However, when you take off 75% of the grip, they are very, 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 very slidey. As you can see, I think we've car it in my car at the moment. And um, yeah, these things are... It's impossibly hard. To, to try for these kind of things. Now, we are doing the downhill layout um, of for Jimmy just so we can actually get the cars kind of going somewhere at any sort of speed and to make things a little bit interesting. It's quite narrow, it's quite twisty. Uh, should make it an extra challenge rather than doing this on a proper racetrack. Now, damage is on simulation. It was I would put it on simulation to try and discourage people from running along the walls and everything. Uh, but there's very, very little you can do. There is just the screen is full of smoke and dust, and I'm not sure if it's tire smoke or engine smoke. And there were lots of cars kind of facing the wrong way uh, at various points. And once you do get your car spun the wrong way, it's very hard to actually turn it around because of the lack of grip. Now you might have seen in the background somebody managed to roll their car. I do not understand how this works either. Uh, this is the best camera angle I can find of it, and this is Husky actually managing to put his Datsun on its roof. Yeah, I'm. I think physics had a whoopsie moment. I don't quite know how he managed to have his car end up on its roof there. It's a very unusual roll. It literally just tapped the side of my car and decided it was going on its roof. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't get that one either. But um, yeah, with 75% with less grip, it's merely spinning your car round if you do end up facing the wrong way is very, very tricky. This red car, I'm pretty sure I spent the first 10% of this race uh, driving in reverse, probably even more than that. And of course, the handling is pretty useless, the brakes are also absolutely useless. And as we come into whatever corner this is, you're going pretty fast as this guy just <laughs> ends up running the wall. That's what I was trying to avoid by putting damage on. In fact, I was hoping that there was like little notches in that wall that would catch cars that uh, tried to just go floor it around there, but apparently not. As there's the <laughs> All of the Datsuns are hitting the wall in the same place. I think that was me um, doing it as well. There goes another. <laughs> Many pirouetting um, Datsuns. Yeah, it is not. You guys are probably sitting at home. If you haven't tried this before, you're probably sitting and watching this or wherever you're watching this um, and thinking we're all being idiots. No, these cars really are that hard. As more Datsuns uh, find the wall in there. Yeah, you guys are probably thinking that we're being idiots, but these cars really are. It's genuinely impossible to drive these things down here. At least it is when this is like the first time you've really done this kind of thing. If you get a lot of practice, you'll probably drive it down here without touching the wall, but it will be very, very, very slow indeed. If there was lots of lots of spinning. I, I'm fairly sure this race here probably set the record for most number of spins in a given online race of 4 to 4, and that is, <laughs> that is probably true. We've got more cars. This is kind of a bit of a... Look, it's like a race, sort of, as the leader spins out into the whatever corner number this is. And then somehow magic occurred, and two more cars managed to end up on their side after hitting me. I don't know what was going what was going on with my car. My car just rolled everybody over. There wasn't particular lag problems either in this race. There was only 10 of us. This was filmed quite a long time ago, by the way. And so, yeah, it's from ages ago. There wasn't any lag problems, really. So it didn't look like it was like a laggy crash that ended with the cars on the side. They just seemed to clatter into me and somehow fell onto their roofs. But, oh well. Um, as we, I managed to almost park my car in the car park. Yeah, even at this stage into the race, really hadn't got the hang of things. No, it's, it's just so hard to drive like this. Um, there was kind of a bit of a recovery going on, or trying to go on back here. It's quite hard when the broken are trying to help the even more broken. Um, yeah, a few cars may have ended up quite badly damaged from all the uh, scraping into the wall. This Datsun is going to rescue one of the cars that managed to end up on its side. Also, because this track is downhill, when your car is on its side or is on its roof, I actually carried on rolling down the course, which made things a little bit more difficult for the uh, guy who was acting as recovery vehicle here. It's now also very difficult to recover a car that's on its side, kind of up against the wall like that. Almost impossible to roll them over. And um, this is a little bit further on. There was sort of a bit of a close race going on here uh, until the magic-y hand of rolliness happens, and I'm also not sure how that one. <laughs> 
I don't know how it works. I guess this one here, the car actually got squished against the barrier and the game couldn't decide what to do with it, so it put it on its side. At least it's a pretty place to roll. If you're going to end up stuck somewhere, at least it is a better place to roll. Uh, <laughs> the Warza looks so terrible. If you if you start, like stay looking at it from one point, it's not, Forza's not designed for that kind of thing. Uh, Husky was slowly making his way through the course on his roof. Uh, actually, I have to say, that's going quicker than I was expecting to see it rolling down the hill. I'm impressed with the speed that that thing is getting on its roof. Um, but yeah, uh, nobody went, or nobody rescued Husky. He managed to roll. I think it was like 8% or 6%, I think, he ended up on his roof. And nobody came back to save him. Uh, there was quite a lot of cars going fairly long distances in reverse. Not intentional, uh, just because they couldn't get the cars spun around. And there's a pretty big crash going on there. I'm fairly sure that with the exception of the leader, everybody else had quite significant engine damage in this one. Where everybody is trying to drive sensibly, but it, it's very, very hard <laughs> with these kind of cars. Now these two are having a bit of a, a pushing battle and shoving battle, and they're just about going to, well, they're going to find a wall, but they didn't take each other out. Yeah, it, these things are so, so hard to drive. I was trying a slightly different tactic. I was trying the sort of slow and steady and avoid the walls as best I could. And even then, I was having some issues as I got caught up through here. Uh, I, I try my best to kind of drive this one properly. So admittedly, I was a little bit slower, but I tried to make less mistakes. Which kind of worked out for me, as the red car behind me managed to clatter both sides of the, the wall. Uh, spun it round, just about got it spun around. Yeah, it, there really is no good way to drive these cars. Also, when you're trying to overtake somebody, like we're not trying to knock into each other. It's just really blooming hard to judge what's going on. Because this is the first time that any of us will have driven these cars down here in this condition. So we really don't know what to expect. The leader, though, had driven a pretty damn good race. He got away at the front by quite a long way. I don't know. I was, quite, I was pretty far behind. And then he was the only one to finish this race without engine damage. Which is pretty damn impressive. Although there was lots of aero damage on his car. He just hadn't clattered the wall as uh, violently, I guess, as uh, we had. I was still trying my slow and steady tactic. Wasn't working too well as I spin into the second to last corner. The cars behind me were not going quite as slow and were pretty much flooring it and just bouncing off the walls at this point trying to catch up to me. However, none of us could really put any power down as we come across the line and I could just hold on to second place. It is very, very close considering um, how long that race took. I can't remember how long. I think it was like sort of eight, nine minutes. I don't know if this car finishes in reverse. It was a damn close finish for second place. And Husky... He was on his on his roof. He'd managed to make it to 8% or 9%, I think, of the way down the course. So he'd slid like 2 or 3% um, on the roof of the car. That's pretty impressive, actually. Now, seeing what a great success the Adatsons had done, we decided to have a go with V8 supercars because you need 700 horsepower uh, to, do, <laughs> to do this. Sure enough, into the first corner and everybody spins and there's a pirouetting <laughs> V8 supercar going past me. I'm driving the Van Gisbergen Ford, and I can't remember who's in what because this was filmed ages ago. I just, if there's a Van Gisbergen Ford, the chances are it's me driving it. Uh, again, there are, I think there are two cars at this point who are now stuck in reverse and cannot really get their cars turned around. This was actually a really, an even bigger problem um, in these V8 supercars, trying to get them spun around. It's very hard to explain why it's difficult to. It's just you can't really do a nice J-turn in them like you'd want to. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> still still the pair of them uh, stuck in reverse. At this point, I was feeling pretty happy. I'd managed to get away from the massive first corner crash. I'd been a little bit lucky. I started slightly higher up on the grid. Um, <laughs> you could hear the crashing in the background. There's a car in reverse as well. Yeah, it was a pretty mental start with these things. Husky had got further than he had the first time round. I think, there we go, look, he's got past the, his finishing position from the first round. There's someone trying to recover their vehicle there, just about managed to get around. Yeah, it's really odd, really hard to get these things turned around. Um, but yeah, these things, it's even trickier with V8 supercars. These are pretty hard to drive at the best of times. They're not the most sophisticated of race cars. They're brilliant race cars, they're absolutely fantastic race cars, great racing series. Not the easiest car to drive, especially when you have very, very little grip. And I'm having a feeling Husky has broke far too late into this corner. If you see the corner, you're going to hit it, pretty much. Uh, especially this corner down here. It is a terribly tricky corner to actually get your car stopped in time. As you can see, I had a, uh, may have had an issue and spun my car uh, <laughs> through this point. This wall here also collected a many a victim again with these. Very, very easy to get caught out trying to carry too much speed. It would be a very straightforward corner, 
in these cars normally, but when you have 25% grip, it's anything but straightforward. Uh, the Wing Cup Mobile, wherever it is, hidden behind the bushes, was having issues getting turned around again. I think it's just about managed to get it turned around. Yeah, that's a recurring theme. Theme? That's the word I was looking for um, throughout. I think this is the, the leading group. It changed really fast as to what position you are in. Much like with the uh, Versus Community, where we had the silly Jeeps. You would be up in second, then you'd be down in eighth, and then you might make your way back up to fifth. It's impossibly hard to keep track of <laughs> what was going on, because you'd have a spin, and then three cars would pile past you, and then one of them would have a spin and take somebody else out with them, and the Wink Up Mobile is still going backwards, uh, still having difficulties getting this damn car turned around. Uh, yeah, you might want, but <laughs> when you can't kind of do a J turn, you probably just want to stop and uh, try and turn it around properly. And um, there was some kind of close racing this time. It's Husky's turn to be stuck um, in reverse. I caught up to this group. I think more through them having crashed than me being any good. Again, by this stage, every, everybody just didn't care about the damage. <laughs> Although, to be fair, when you have like 700 odd horsepower, if your engine's 50% damaged, you go down to maybe 400, 450 horsepower, which is still just going to spin the wheels all the time. Having less power was actually useful um, in these cars, and the Wing Cup Mobile is still stuck facing it. I'm pretty sure this car spent more time backwards than it did forwards. Uh, there's me trying to <laughs> trying to overtake Husky. Um, sort of, I was trying for a proper overtake. I don't know if we actually ever had a real proper overtake from anybody. It's not us driving like morons. I think this time the window bottom mobile is facing the wrong way. Yes, it is. Uh, it's just that it was so hard to actually get these cars turned and not to have them understeer wide and collect somebody or to just not spin them out. Uh, this time, I think Husky is actually going to do a clean overtake on me. Yes, he is. There we go. We did have a clean overtake. There was only one. And I th think Husky may have clipped the wall. Yes, he did. And I'm going to try and find a way back past him. Uh, going around the outside of somebody in slidey V8 supercars is not a good idea. Uh, the leaders are also battling things out there. Uh, some weirdness happens. I'm not sure who gets spun around. I think that might be Husky. I can't see. I'm the, the screen I'm watching this when I'm recording is far too small and I can't see what happened there. Somebody got spun around. I'm presuming by the lack of Husky being in this shot, it was probably him. Could have been my fault. Probably was my fault, although not much I could do about it. And then look, side by side action. The cars are actually sort of racing properly. The leaders are fairly close as well. Uh, I think that's the Wing Cup Mobiles trying to go around the outside of it. It's hard going around the outside of somebody at the best of times through this section. You're not going to really do it in these very, very sli <laughs> very slidey cars. I think there was, a, there was a vague attempt at a cutback going on there. Look, proper racing techniques were occurring in very slidey cars. And again, the, the Vodafone car is going to try a cutback. <laughs> the leaders have a big crash. And then I get a little bit of assistance into this. <laughs> and we're doing like 20 miles an hour. It probably even less than that, and I'm struggling to get my car turned. And behind, behind our little battle, I believe that was the Winterbottom car getting past Huskies. Yeah, uh, even at very, very low speeds, these cars just wouldn't turn. There was absolutely nothing you could do. I'm getting some more assistance. Don't really need any assistance at all to spin these cars around. They really are ridiculously hard to drive. This was further back. I think this was over eighth and ninth. I'm not sure. Somebody at the back may end up, may have ended up on his roof. Even I'm not entirely sure don't think anybody rolled, but the guy in 10th was a long, long way behind. But um, this battle here was still pretty good. This had been going on for most of the race uh, between these two. It didn't really matter what position you were in. Everybody sort of struggling with the cars equally almost. Although I believe that, yeah, someone may have spun there. I'm not sure. I'm well, not sure what car. It's the Jim Bean car. Don't know what, who drives that one in Forza. And is it Moffitt's car? Maybe. But I think it's too... It could be his. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, this was the best battle of... Well, kind of the entire event. Um, this is all over third position, I think. There's me, the Wing Cup Mobile, Husky, and I think Winterbottom's car are all in this little group. And we change places very, very regularly as we each... Cla everybody clatters the wall through there. I was the unfortunate one that ends up facing the wrong way. I didn't have... I got lucky with this one. Didn't have to spend forever trying to get my car to uh, to spin around there. You could get lucky. You could do J-turns with them. But uh, yeah, you had to get quite lucky. And going side by side through that sort of chicane bit doesn't normally work. And especially not when you're in very slidey cars. Also, the, everything is very, very broken. Um, again, I don't think anybody survived this race without engine damage. As our, as our leader comes towards the finish line. Yeah, everybody's cars were incredibly damaged. But um, you didn't really lose any performance so much from them being damaged because you just spun the wheels, whatever you were doing. Anyway, uh, our leader took a fairly convincing victory. He was a fair way in front of the rest of the pack. And as we come towards the finish line, this is still the battle over third position. It was Husky and the Winterbottom car. I was a little further back. 
and as they come towards the second to last corner going too wide in here not the greatest idea and as they smack into the wall husky comes off worse goes for a spin i too then uh, go for <laughs> go for a spin as well just carrying too much speed into the final corner and the winter bottom car is going to get third it was an experience it's <laughs> That's the best way I can describe this racing. It really is not easy. I do recommend you give it a go. It is good fun and it is worth a try. But yeah, you're not going to get anything sensible out of it. But it is quite fun. Also, I don't know why the cars end up on their roof. I'm still to this day confused as to how them cars ended up on their roof. But never mind. Uh, it was it was all good fun. And it was there were some surprisingly close races, all things considered. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you have challenges you would like to see us do, then please do leave them in the comment section. I'll have a look through, and my favourites will be in a video at some point. However, until next time, goodbye.